My Gavanan, Melanine, and well met indeed. I'm Arake Galadirithan, the head of Divide and Conquer, and welcome back to the Umbar campaign. Now, as promised in the last video, I have fixed the text bug, and I've uh, we have ensured that that will be present in all future patches, in case any of you have somehow managed to delete your strings.bin, as they will need to be regenerated, and Steam does not regenerate them. So... That is out of the way. I believe we are at the point where we will just do an end turn and hope and pray that we can still outmaneuver and outrank, essentially, CAD. For they are coming on all of our settlements reasonably fiercely. Although they keep changing their mind, especially Lorgan. He's moving one way then the other. But otherwise we're doing okay. We're making a reasonable amount of money, considering I normally make around 100 or a loss. Making 800 is indeed a reasonable amount of money, so we can press on with that. <clears throat> of course, now being back on Windows 8 means that the game is far more stable. Not There's suggesting no that Windows 10 is not stable, like this, Lord. but I feel as though if you have Windows 10 fresh, so you've bought a computer and it came with Windows 10, I think you'll be fine. But if you've upgraded to Windows 10, I think you can probably expect some problems. Although it could just be me because I tinker with the computer more than uh, most would. He's just kindly moved those troops into the city for us, which is very very good of him. A suitable husband has betrothed Moraiza. He's 32, cast her here. Go on then. You've joined him, Lad Karnam, which is very good. Oh, look, Lorgan's now heading north. He really can't make his mind up. Failed a mission there. Gibran has got Vivarium. And Aban, the respected as a map middle of the issue. <laughs> He's been all, all over the blooming thing. You'd expect him to know his way around by now. Ah, they are besieging Ambran. Right, I think we can hold there, to be honest, after seeing our defence last time. Oh, they've got Brotherhood of the Bow. I will not waste words on you. They're one of Khan's most elite units. Do we head out and cut Batu off before he arrives at Imlad Khanan? No. Umbar is still not besieged because I, f I feel like maybe some of these armies yes. down here aren't allied. So they don't want to attack for fear of the other ones attacking them. And Edwyth gone to war with Bree. Castahir and Mariza. She has very evil eyes, didn't she? Right, in one turn we're going to get two more units, and they're defensive units. So I'll take out Call the pikemen. And I don't know. Do we want to keep the... Oh, we'll take out two Your units of pikemen there, Lord. yeah. Has Gibran got the room, actually? An order. He's only got room for one. And they're all pretty high ranking. Right, 89 of you go As and you stand wish. in that fort. Order. Oh, let's take out Corsair pikemen, not Southron. Southrons are much better. Joining forces, my lord. I feel like I should attack Ruka and get rid of the Kandish army. But I'm not too certain. There's so many threats. Magujin is pressing down hard on Ankaragmir. I think Umbar probably has enough to hold off now, to be honest, actually. So, yes. Gibran, you're going to take a brief break you and head to Ankaragmir and there cut Magujin off. Because we'll we're never going to be able to train them. It's going to take too long. So you go and cut them off. Umbar should easily be able to hold now. It's got a full retinue of our better units. Ships ready. And so I think it's just going to be another end turn. And we just wait. Hopefully Lorgan might deal with Captain Huthafa. He's been knocking around there for some time. Oh, Yiltig. Look at this guy. Corpse will be thrown to the dogs. He's coming with nothing. Now which units can't... Oh, this can train everything. Apart from 41 of them. How may I serve? You can just be disbanded. You can't be retrained. And the Castamere's Rangers can't be retrained either. Your will, my lord. Although the ones in Ramlond were. You stay there at the moment. You've got free upkeep. Uh, they haven't gone for Korondaj, Krokmaher, nor Krokboyadla. They are just coming for us. I feel like one of them will attack us soon enough, so we'll have our work cut out for us anyway. Who is it? Mordor, the Witch King. 
They bring the fight to our walls. I wonder who will support him. Many of them will die upon the stakes outside the gates of Umbar. I will ensure that. Gondor are just besieging every port they can. Oh, really? They send their whole army to kill 59 My Corsairs. Barely even worth it. Alright, Amron, defense of Amron again. Umbar battle. In yes, we go. Preparing the men to attack. The Might of Umbar Shines will be the name of this episode. Before we've even fought this battle, I'm so sure we're going to win it. He has got some... I can't remember what they're called. They're dismounted wind riders, but that's not their actual name. Variag warriors, maybe. There's some militia on that side. Militia archers, more militia. Cavalry, 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 cavalry. Brotherhood of the Bow are the captains. Now their horse, the... the the steading, the barding on their horse is was created by the original modding team. So even though it's not the most amazing quality, it harkens back to how old this mod is. So we've kept it in place. Right, they've got a lot of cavalry. Have we got anything that can deploy stakes? No. Not by the looks of it. I'm tempted to leave archers on the walls, to be honest. Ah, oh, no, why would we do that? Um, they're going to charge down the middle, I thoroughly expect. Last time we fought there, this time we're fighting here. They don't have as many archers. They have got one unit there and one unit there. So we're not going to have particular problems with archers. It's going to be a slog fest. And who's in the towers? They've got ladders and they've got towers there. I think we'll pop our defenders on the walls. We'll run them onto that wall when we can. They can go on the walls. To make sure that our archers actually see use, I think we'll put our archers on the walls as well. Oh, we can't. That's annoying. Because I don't think they're going to be... Oh, no, we leave them in the square, actually. They can fire down the path, can't they? We'll worry about them in a moment. Who's over there? Other archers. Come and stand in the middle. And then those units are down there. Right. Southron Pikeman we've got this time. Alright, you two gentlemen, I want you to come and stand on this side. You're going to run in from that flank if possible. Now, our cavalry, I have no idea how to use, so I think I'll send them out. Corsair Warriors, come and stand on this side. Ready to charge around the corner. I'll move you to face in a moment. And... Yeah, you take a unit of pikemen with you. Oh, I'll move those in a minute. Alright, start the battle. Pause. Cavalry, outside the walls, you're going to be chasing the enemy. You're going to be hitting them from behind. They don't have a general, so their morale's not going to be amazing. So with any luck, we'll be able to get some routing. Uh, we use those two on this flank to hit the enemy and the pikemen move down the street and these pikes are going to form up on top of you and make a solid pike wall that's the plan archers there and archers there right now you gentlemen up on that wall and everybody go Move into positions. Called upon the men of Harad who now swear fealty and loyalty to Amba entirely. Our enemy's ladders have reached our walls. It's time for butcher's work. Alright, off time six. You two are ready. So stand still, defend Pike Wall. And there we are. Our archers are firing. Group them up. Curse. Our cunning foe has reached our walls. With their oh, attack. the Candy's Raiders have come we after our cavalry. Them. Very well. Kill all that you can, men. Kill all that you can. Oh, they're archers that they're sending onto the wall. Oh, brilliant. And the Variag warriors, though, they're coming through the middle. Oh, 
This is the view the men see. Two towers. They're de what are they doing? They're moving position. Did our cavalry catch those raiders? Oh my word, they not only caught them, they slaughtered them. How did we miss that? Good job, Lancers. Good job indeed. This one's in the bag, let's be honest. 15% dead already, they've only just made it in. Speed it up again. Oh, no. Marauders are coming for us. What's the situation likely to be here? We have 11 defense, 5 attack. And they have 7 defense, 4 attack. So we should outdo it. Do we get a bonus against cavalry? No. But if this considers as a, if this is considered a desert map, we get an advantage. But then so do the marauders actually. So that's negated. Oh, they broke away again on the gate. They're having a real trouble with this gate. The enemy are battering down the gates. It's because they know they don't want to go in. They know what awaits them on the other side. Blast their eyes! The enemy's ram is through our gates. Oh, the Brotherhood of the Bow shoot actually. I totally forgot walls. about that. To our defense, or all will be right, their cavalry has made it through, and they fall almost instantly on the pike line that we have set up for them. All right, now spring the trap. Did our gentlemen win? No, oh, they're still fighting, but they should have just about clinched. Oh, that's our captain, isn't it? I didn't think about that. Where is he? Should be the only Umbarim gentleman among them. There he is at the back. The enemy are badly bloody. As long as he stays at the back, they'll win there. That's all right. You men come off the walls, you're no longer needed on the walls. You keep fighting there. I think the pikes will hold in the middle. And the archers are firing now, so... They're firing more effectively. And we've got all of them on that Brotherhood of the Bow. Brotherhood of the Bow have 22 defense, 8 melee, 7 missile. They're very good. But they are surrounded. Oh, there's... Um, that's what the new Corsair Warriors are like. I don't know if I'd shown you them. They no longer have that snail shell shield, nor the snail helmet. They've got the chain and the ring mail or whatever it is all over them. We've got men going up behind the back path there. Slaughtering the Brotherhood of the Bow. How are they done? Yeah. They're routing. That's all over, really, isn't it? Good tidings. The enemy general lies the enemy dead. general's dead and everything. Oh wow, they really are defeated, aren't they? Oh, they turned around and they're joining in again. We'll run back in. Our general's done enough. Right, turn to face, because when they get back inside the centre, yep, yeah, and as long as the gate is shut, which it has, those men have now got to come back for us. Oh, why did you go down the ladder? Behold how our That's all over. 378, we killed a thousand of them. Southron Lancers taking the... Pipping the post there. Well done. That was our general. He might get man of the hour if we're lucky. And then we have another defender on the east there. Right, because we are not attacking Cairns Heartlands... As I said in the video before, that we will now face Cairns' medium troops. 
They're going to send all of their militia that they trained in turn one and then they bankrupted themselves with. And we'll kill all of them, no trouble in battles like that. But because we aren't pressing on Khan's heartland, they will recoup and they will recover and they will come at us with their elite units. Also, because Umbar is being besieged, we're now losing a lot of money. An order. What to do down here? What to do down here? Um, yes. I respect you in battle. An I order. suggest we wait. I think he will assault Ankaragmir. And then we'll spring in and we'll hit him when he does. Can we hide yes. in the trees? No. So, stay there and cover yourself. Let's get that fight out of the way. You can have that fort all day, friend. Misty Mountains and Mordor are on their way. I will not waste words on you. Some rebels outside the walls. What are they doing? I'm really unsure about what's happening up there. Um, we've merged them as best we can, right, to make a bit of money. Orders. While we yes. drop them in the fort until this is threatened again. Mordor will probably attack Umbar now, so it'll be the f a proper city defence this time. But unfortunately the Witch King suffers greatly because of the fact that he's mounted and we will be able to put stakes in outside the gate. And that will be the end of the Witch King. For 15 turns, and then he will respawn in Mordor and come and get us again. But they haven't attacked us just yet. Herod Lewin prosper as well. Still no threat to there. Kand are doing something on the bridge outside of him with Garnon. They're really getting ready to, to, to drop it on us. I don't get where they're going though. What are they hoping for up there? How may I serve? Bit of a gamble Order. here, but let's get rid of this. To war, then. Clear defeat. We should withdraw. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to do. Cavalry, auto... I'm going to try and make cavalry a lot better in auto-resolve. Almost, like, almost making them um, OP, as opposed to being completely useless, which they are at the moment. Alright, they continue to assault us My here. Lord. Oh, you've come of age. Um, a bit of a gamble, but I'd like you to head to Amran if you command. could. Let's see if you can Continuing get there. Tomorrow. They didn't attack Ankaragmir. Yes. Right. Finish them. Magujin. He's got Brotherhood of the Bow. He's got his bodyguard, who are very good. Very agnobles. Otherwise, again, militia. Militia across the board. Captain Niladu. I don't really want you getting involved. Umbar battle. Five to three There'll in our no favour. Right, let's get rid of him and then Ankaragmir is safe. Then he can go back towards Umbar and help pick off the ones that aren't besieging us. Right, as we always try and do, let's try and get them to attack us. And I think we have a strong... It's reasonable that they might. Line our pikemen up. Nope, you're not in line. There you are. Which is, of course, the way to make pikemen even stronger is to double rank them. And to ensure that the gap is also secured, drop some in the middle there. Right, it's going to be our line. Slightly further forward. Now, the the hope that we're going to try and get here is that because all of our archers are hidden, the enemy won't know where they are. So they will think that we don't have as many troops as we actually have. That's the plan. Right, troll men and corsair warriors, you take the right flank. Corsairs. 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 You take. Oh, sorry, left flank. You take the right flank. Brace yourselves. Our generals will just go behind for now. 
start the battle. Time six. Are they going to take the bait? No. They're moving to the top of a very steep hill. All right. Pause it. We're going to march slowly towards them then. Nobody run. Don't waste yourselves. We're climbing a steep hill here. Keep it on time six. Let's go and have a look at Umbar. At Can, sorry. So, peasants. Brotherhood of the Bow. Marauders. There's the Variag nobles. They split people's opinion. Some people like how Japanese they look. Others think it ridiculous. What on earth they think they're doing? Oh, they're just repositioning. I'm just trying to remove their hill bonus. They've got some household axe though. Yeah, they are going to stay defensive. Damn. Fighting the tempt temptation to make everybody run at the moment. Ah, oh, they're almost in position. Right. Pikeman, come across to that hill. The rest of you, come stand behind. Get into positions, get into positions. And then we're going to send our archers forward and try and lure them back, lure them back into our pike line where we are strongest. Now that we have the now, however they do it, unless even if we attack them, we will now always be above them, which is key to any victory. Right, are our archers in position? Reasonably. Now you can run. Time six. Right. Corsair's moving up. Put the archers behind them. You two are going to go on the flank there. You can go in behind them. Keep the general out. Everybody can run. Only a few of them charged out at us. But at least we're set up now and ready. So we'll send in the archers until they're used up. They're only sending raiders against us. They're firing. It's like playing chicken when the cavalry charge at you and you're hoping, are they going to charge or are they just going to fire their arrows? They're still just going with. That's twenty percent. Send in the rest of the archers. If we continue there. like this, we will smash the enemy. Oh, they've sent in actual troops now. I wonder if they're really taking the bait or if they're just going to send them in in sporadic bursts. You gentlemen are done. Pull yourselves out. If we continue Killed almost 40% like just because the they enemy. won't attack us. I'm more than happy with that. What have we got going on down here? The marauders are slaughtering our archers then. Keep 
firing on just anything you can. Of course our archers are actually pretty good. I think in the grand scheme of things. You compare Snagger archers and Goblin archers and Orc archers and Ennard Wyth's tier 1 archers. This Brotherhood of the Bows don't fall very easily to arrow fire though, do they? Right, all of our archers now fired. I'm tempted to now run to do a mass and organisational withdrawal, to be honest. Nobles are coming. Good luck, troll men. We can kill Megajin. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Surely if their general dies, they'll react. Which one is their general? That's an officer. Oh no, that's... Uh, yeah, he's an officer because he's on the silver horse. Surely their general stands out. Couldn't tell you which one he is. <laughs> There's only 19 of them left. Oh, Matt, that one maybe? Look how ornate he looks. No, because he looks pretty ornate as well. Um, maybe it is that one that's the brotherhood of the... Yeah, look, he's got a black coat. I think it must be him. Keep it at time six. I'm happy to kill Megajin, kill what we've killed, and then just tell everyone to just end the battle and walk over the hill. There's 14 Brotherhood of the Bow left. Still four Variag Nobles in Simulo. Yeah, it is that one with the cape. Apologies for the time six, but uh, just chasing this bugger down. Oh, we got another one. And another. And another. Only the general remains. What's he going to do? Go on, you get a bonus against cavalry. Oh, he's not retreating, is he? Or are they going to run away? No, there's something in their arches. Oh, it's so annoying that we didn't get him. Look, he's standing right there. Go on, go for it. Oh, he's pulling back to his own line. All right, we've killed enough. Let's go. Oh no. Oh, two units of South Ron Pikeman joined him. Can't you just walk across the border? It's literally right there. I would have thought that now that they've seen us fleeing, they would attack. And away we go. We'll lose, but they lost 50% of their army in that battle. 
hit and run that was. And as we can retreat, it won't affect our troops at all. Got some Hashari in our backup. I'm just disappointed that Megajin survived him alone. We are the heirs of Numenor. Ah, but there we are. We are the heirs of Numenor. Look how ridiculous it is for them to retreat. The tide of battle seems to have turned against us. We must act and halt this turn of events. Our no defeat is ours on this day. We have nothing to be ashamed of. Hold on. Hold on. We killed 50% of his army. Victory from our grasp. He healed um, nearly 500 men. Hmm. We lost all 600. I didn't know that we did lose 600 men. Oh, Medieval 2 has such annoying features. I tried whipping them, but the men are spent. And all there will be much honor in defeating you. Oh, frustrating. Frustrating indeed. But that will end that episode there. So, I will continue on with the next one. So, do stay tuned as we build up to the inevitable defense of Umbar itself. And of course, I am away until the 3rd of June, so these will continue at one a week. And I can only apologize for the long delay between them, but I'm not here to record any others. So for now, that will end this one. So thank you very much for watching, if indeed you have. I'm Eric Agaladuth the head of Divide and Conquer. And feel free to put any comments you wish in the comments section or over on Total War Center itself, where we are based. But for now, and until we speak again, dear friends, Navarna den Perimad Melonin. And farewell.